Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set the alarm or alarms on your Casio G-Shock GWM5610U watch. This watch has four different alarms, a snooze alarm, and an hourly signal. If you look at the bottom here, I'm gonna try and zoom in a little bit. Bottom left, you can see whether or not you have any of your alarms turned on or your hourly signal. You'll notice this SNZ, ALM, and then SIG. If you have an alarm on, you will see a little line over ALM. If you have your hourly chime or hourly signal on, you'll see a line over that. And then if the alarm that you have on is your snooze alarm, you will also see SNZ here on the screen. We'll take a look at that here in a second. We'll set an alarm and we'll come back and look at this. So what we need to do is we need to go to our alarm mode. We don't have any of them currently turned on. We press the bottom left button. That's our mode button. First time you press it, it's going to take you to your world time mode. The second time will take you to your alarm mode. It's going to drop you in on whichever alarm was the last one that you looked at. In my case, that was alarm number one. Now, if I press the bottom right button, I can go to my different alarms. So we've got alarm number two, alarm number three, alarm number four, my snooze alarm, and then the hourly signal. On any one of these, if you just simply want to turn it on, so let's say alarm number one is set for 12 a.m., you just want to simply turn on that alarm while you're on it. If you press the top left button, you've turned on the alarm. You can see now ALM has a line over it. Basically means I've got at least one of my alarms turned on and not my snooze alarm. Press top left button, it's a simple toggle to turn it off. Let's say we wanted to adjust the time. You don't have to start with alarm number one. I would think logically it makes sense to start with alarm number one, but if you're different and you just wanna start with alarm number three for whatever reason, on the given alarm you wanna adjust while you're on it, you're gonna press and hold the top left button. You'll notice it automatically turned it on and then it's taking me to a blinking hour indicator. That hour indicator is letting us know that we can adjust our hour. You can either press the top right button to go down, or you can press the bottom right button to move up, and then you could obviously hold it down to move faster. Once you've got your alarm value set, you're gonna simply use the mode button, bottom left button, to go over to your minutes, and again, you can use either of the two buttons on the right-hand side to adjust your minutes. So I'm gonna set an alarm for let's say 7.45 a.m. I'm in 12 hour format, your alarm is gonna follow whatever time format you're in. So if you're viewing your time in 24 hour format, you would see it here. In my case, 12 hour format, I would be careful to look for the a.m. p.m. indicator. I should say the p.m. indicator. The lack of that means that I am in a.m. Got my alarm set. If I wanted to go back to my hour, I could again press mode. Once you're totally done, you're simply gonna press the top left button and I've successfully turned on alarm number three as well as adjusted the time. Now, if I just wanted to adjust the time and turn it off, again, while I'm on it, toggle it on, toggle it off. So we've got alarm number three, we've got the time value set. Let's go ahead and turn that one off and I'll just show you uh, the snooze alarm. Again, I'm on alarm number three, I'm gonna press the bottom right button. We're gonna go down to the snooze alarm. I won't adjust the time on it. Again, I could press and hold the top left button if I wanted to adjust the time, but I'm just gonna simply turn this one on and you'll notice because my snooze alarm is on, now there's a line over SNZ as well as a line over alarm. I've got at least one of my alarms on and I've got my snooze alarm on. I'm gonna go ahead and press the down button one more time. Let's go ahead and turn on the hourly signal. The hourly signal is the one value in here that you cannot adjust. You can just simply turn it on or turn it off. You'll notice when you turn it on, now I've got a line over SIG. Pretty simple stuff, that's how you set the alarms. The only other thing that you can really do is on any one of the alarms while you're in alarm mode, if you press and hold the bottom right button, you can listen to the alarm. If I let go of it, it stops doing it. I don't really know why Casio lets you do that. I guess it's just to test and make sure that your alarm is working. But that's pretty much the basics of the alarm mode. Once you're done with it, you can press the mode button a couple of times, get out of your alarm mode, or you can always press and hold the mode button and it'll take you back to your timekeeping mode. You'll notice my hourly chime uh, just went off. Anyway, that's a quick look at the alarm mode on the GWM5610U. 
I hope the video helped.